Hi, my name is Shaylin Warwick. I'm a senior at East High School. I like your old stuff. And this poem is called The Arcade of Love. This arcade of love has got me tired. Always looking at the scoreboard gave me bloodshot eyes, but it doesn't matter. Your eyes were always prettier than mine. You're the type of girl to say your eyes change colors with your mood. I can't stand people like that, but we are still best friends with our ingenious checks and balance system. I know you've always been better at these games than me. I was never one for all the loud music and flashing lights, the crunching of tickets, tickets, tickets pouring out of the machines, the thuds of dance, dance, revolution, come dance with me. But instead, I stand by concessions while you are the center of the room. You are always the center of the room, but how could you not be? Everyone loves you. Whacking me down like whack-a-mole every time I ask if we can hang out, yet you still have time to play all these games. I spend all my time worrying if we're still even friends, stuck feeling guilty. Because I do not like the games you love. You'll try to make me jealous at the claw machine, winning prize after prize for all these other friends I've never met before, but you'll never win one for me. I should just know you love me. It reminds me of when we were kids and we'd pull all our tickets together to win the biggest prize. We never do that anymore, but it's kind of hard to keep your head on in the arcade of love when it's just a scam to win tickets, to get money, to win prizes. This was never, I was never the prize you wanted. I was the 50 ticket prize and you were the 5,000. I was always cast to the sidelines, but this is just another metaphor about how I'm never secure with or without you. You love parties. I hate them. My head is always looking down at the neon carpet with stains ground into it. I get a headache and leave early, and you wonder if I left because of you. Because you and me are best friends for a reason. We have the same insecurities. We both go home sad and tired and meet up the next day like nothing even happened at the Arcade of Love. Woo!